When talking about filtered load, we need to focus on the part of the kidney involved in filtration, which is the glomerulus. The filtered load is defined as the amount of substance X that passes through the glomerular capillaries into the Bowman space in a given amount of time, and it's expressed in milligrams per minute. In other words, the filtered load of substance X equals the glomerular filtration rate expressed in milliliters per minute times the plasma concentration of substance X expressed in milligrams per milliliter. So, this means at a given GFR, let's say 125 mils per minute, the filtered load increases linearly as the plasma concentration increases. However, decreases in GFR will show up as decreases in filtered load, yet the relationship between filtered load and plasma concentration will remain linear. So with this in mind, let's answer the following question. Which of the following represents the filtered load of calcium given a plasma calcium concentration of 0.095 milligrams per milliliter and a GFR of 125 milliliters per minute? Your options are A, 13.2 milligrams per minute, B, 11.8 milligrams per minute, C, 7.1 milligrams per minute, and D, 4.7 milligrams per minute. Pause the video to make a guess. The correct answer is 7.1 milligrams per minute. Now, if you use the filtered load formula, you should have come up with 11.8 milligrams per minute since the glomerular filtration rate of 125 milliliters per minute times the plasma concentration of 0.095 milligrams per milliliter equals 11.8 milligrams per minute. While this is the correct use of the formula, it is not the correct answer because not all of the plasma calcium is filtered. In fact, of the total plasma calcium, 40% is bound to plasma proteins and it is not filtered, while the other 60% is free or ionized, which is freely filtered. So, the best way to answer this question is to use the filtered load for total calcium, which is 11.8 milligrams per minute, then multiply that value by 60%, which is the filtratable portion of calcium. This gives us 7.1 milligrams per minute as the accurate filtered load. So the difference between 11.8 milligrams per minute and 7.1 milligrams per minute is 4.7 milligrams per minute, which represents the fraction of total plasma calcium that is not filtered. The same holds true for any substance that is bound to plasma proteins. For example, 30% of total plasma magnesium is bound to plasma proteins, while the other 70% is ionized and freely filtered. Likewise, 20% of total plasma phosphate is bound to plasma proteins and is not filtered, while the other 80% is ionized and freely filtered.